What's up, guys? How y'all doing? This is D Durrell with D Durrell Life Solutions. So I'm back. I'm, this is going to be the first of many other videos that I will be creating this week. I will be focusing and regaining again on talking about counseling related topics, relationships in the black community, mental health. Um, and I also will be talking about some other financial things and so on. So as you all know, on my platform, I don't like to do the hot topics. I don't like to follow where everybody else goes when, whenever some hot gossipy topic and everybody wants the tea. I'm not one to just jump on it immediately. That's not how I do my content. No matter what is going on, I like to do what I feel uh, should be talked about. I like to create content that is somewhat germane to the things that I like and the things that I think are important to the black community. But for this particular situation, I've kind of waited a few days, almost a week or so, to talk about this because this has been something that has been going on. And this is the issue of Will Smith, Chris Rock, and Jada Pickett. Now, this video today, I'm going to highlight to you why Will Smith don't really give a damn what anybody thinks. I hate to bring it to you. I see it all in the manosphere. I see it in other black sectors and all over YouTube. Everybody is commenting on this. Everybody thinks Will cares about the Oscar banning him. Um, people think that Will Smith cares about what you think about him and his image. No, he doesn't. And I'm going to give you the reasons why. Number one, Will Smith, Will Smith can stop acting today. And it will not hurt him. Will Smith is solidified uh, in his industry. Will Smith has made his money and his money is making him money. Therefore, you think he cares about uh, content creators on YouTube, social media, Facebook that are giving their account of what they think happened, what he was thinking, whether or not it was planned, whether it, it was not planned. Um, whether or not this was all created as a way of advertising uh, products for Pfizer and so forth because of Jada, uh, Jada's uh, disease that she has and so forth of her scalp. No, no. I wholeheartedly think that it could have been planned and it could have not been planned. I, I don't know. It's a 50-50 chance. But I'm just going to give you just a question to think about. I've never seen a situation where whether you are a A-lister or not, you can just jump, just jump simultaneously on, on the uh <laughs> on the stage and there's no security. I don't know. That, that just doesn't sound right. That just, that just doesn't sit well with me. Where if something wasn't planned, you mean to tell me random people can just jump, whether you're a, a A-list actor or whatever, and there's no security that comes or no security comes. They just basically allow that. I'm like, what type of goddamn security do, do they have? I mean, people could just do that and nothing happened. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not, look, I'm just, that made no sense to me. It made no sense at all. And that's the only reason why I think that this could have been staged because if something like that's supposed to happen in any type of event, security is supposed to show up. And it didn't. So I don't know. Other reasons, if it wasn't, hey, I don't know how psychologically she, she is dealing with this whether she's having difficulty dealing with her hair insecurities and so forth. And as a husband, whether they have issues or not, which are none of our goddamn business, um, I would be affected if someone made a joke about my wife that has a disease, particularly a disease that affects your image. I don't know. I wouldn't have gotten up in on a show and punched them, but I guarantee you, if I would have saw him backstage and so forth, or we were going to have some choice words, and those choice words could have equally led to that. But I'm not going to do that on a show. Now, 
Now I'm hearing, and I'm going to do a video on this, that Chris Rock somewhat has a nonverbal, uh, nonverbal disease, some, some non DSM diagnosis that I guess the medical profession is somewhat um, giving rise to that may be somewhat correlating to the Asperger's or autism spectrum. I'm going to have to do some more re research on that. Shout out to my girl, Faith. She actually did a show a few days ago in which she made me aware of this. Um, and I've never heard of this before. Um, I've just basically, whenever they have people that have issues with Asperger's or autism, we'll, we'll highlight that they may have traits of poor communication, um, Poor communication, where it's, whether it's verbal or nonverbal, uh, as far as the adaptability in social situations, uh, repetitiveness and so forth, uh, fixated behaviors that are somewhat recurrent, um, that doesn't necessarily um, coincide with the environment that they're in. Um, the lack of understanding nonverbal communication and so forth. Uh, right now, I can't go with that. Professionally speaking, I'm going to have to do my research on that um, because I've seen similar things out of children, but not necessarily adults, because particularly if he had some signs of autism, that should have been identified years ago. And you mean to tell me all these years that Chris Rock has been in the entertainment business well over 30 years and we're just finding this out and this is and this issue is finally showing its ugly face where it's d disruptive in a manner, in a social or workplace environment. No, if he had something like that, I think it would have been somewhat disruptive throughout his career. You just don't have an issue like that, particularly a behavioral communication like uh, disorder, like that's on an autism spectrum per se. None official, because it's not the DSM. But I will do my due diligence and do a video down the line to kind of talk about this a little further. So, Will don't give a damn. Will really don't give a damn. He never will. Will Smith's going to do what he want to do. He's not going to lose any deals behind this. He's still going to be in movies. Chris Rock is, is capitalizing on it. His tickets are the hottest thing right now on planet Earth. Everybody's going to see to see him now to see whether or not he's going to talk about it and express himself from a truthful standpoint. So, guys, man, it's funny that in these spaces, particularly in the manosphere, sphere, particularly in the woman's sphere, particularly in the co-ed spaces of black YouTube, people think that the actual um, the actual entertainers, these are high end people, high level people of high success care. They don't care. Actually, I'm saying the same thing about uh, um, what's the guy named uh, Russell that married Sierra. They don't care. He doesn't care. And I'm going to do a video on that and give my analysis. So, from my standpoint, what I think happened, Will Smith has some impulse issues. He realizes what his wife is going through. Chris Rock has said some things in the past. Uh, and so on, making little jokes. And he had a heated moment where he practiced poor judgment. And now it's all over uh, the internet. It's all over uh, regular mainstream, mainstream, mainstream um, TV and so forth. Every network is talking about it. It's, it's mainstream. And it's, it's, it's where the, the, the narrative is, is against him right now. But again, Pfizer is basically has created a product and now they have means to advertise it. So there's a lot of different layers. It's a lot of different layers. So he, he doesn't care. It's not going to make him lose any money. He's not going to stop acting. He just won the Oscar. If they ban him, so what? Who cares? Think he gives a damn? No, he doesn't. He, he has made his money. He has won an Oscar, which, by the way, years ago, they complained about black people winning. 
he wins one for for um, playing the uh, the father of of Mr. Williams of Serena and Venus. Did a great job. I didn't watch it yet. I'll check it out. So that's my account of this. This is what I think about it. I'm late to the party on it because I'm not the one to just go in with the flow. Where everybody's just hopping on a hot topic and to get views. That's not how I operate. I've actually been focusing. I'm refocusing on this channel and also on the Rebirth channel, the Sectors TV, few clips, one live stream a week. That Umar Johnson sector is getting on my goddamn nerves and people are all over the place. And um, I think this is where I need to go, particularly if I want to create content that um, is advertisable and can be monetized because that content on Sector TV is not monetized is not monetized worthy. So thank you for your time. This is D Darrell with D Darrell Life Solutions. Y'all have a great day.